Hi there. Long time no see. I traveled a bit, went to my country, Latvia, and traveled with my family and two lovely cats by car to North Carolina. So glad to see you. Today we will look into the interesting subject of how paintings get authenticated. In this episode, we will investigate how experts decide whether an artwork is an authentic piece and was created by a distinguished artist or if it's just a well-made copy, a work by the artist's workshop or one of their students or a forgery. The Polish writer by Rembrandt is a case in point. Owned by the celebrated Freak Collection in New York, this painting has caused a lot of controversy in the last few years. The museum purchased it in 1910 for nearly half a million US dollars as an acclaimed painting by Rembrandt, but its authorship has been questioned since 1969 by a group of researchers called the Rembrandt Research Project. The researchers examined the painting and concluded that it was not painted by the old master, suggesting that one of his students may have imitated Rembrandt's style to produce this masterwork. Researchers, art lovers, old master experts and Rembrandt specialists have argued about the authenticity of the painting ever since and there still is not certainty in the case. So, how do art scholars determine the authenticity and provenance of disputed or newly discovered works? When an artwork's authorship is being disputed, authenticators are called in to verify it. They are experts of art who specialize in a particular artist and their work and basically know everything about it. These experts develop what, what's called a forensic eye and review all details of the artwork in person from examining the surface of the work for cracks to listening to its surface with a stethoscope. They also perform a side-by-side -side analysis placing the work in question next to an authenticated work by that artist and comparing them for similarities. Moreover, they tend to collaborate with researchers in the field to try and trace the work of art all the way back to the artist who created it. They search the world's top libraries and archives to find documents related to that artwork, records of sale, exhibition notes, the artist's diaries and housekeeping notes, legal documents and any other evidence. However, as prices for art keep going up, the popularity of this profession is rapidly declining. This is because the high prices of the artwork they are asked to evaluate are linked to high risk if you get it wrong. Lawsuits against experts who misattributed the painting and misled the owner into paying a small fortune for a painting that's not worth the money are common and in some extreme cases even involve death threats. As a result, there has been a shift towards expert committees in large organizations where a group of experts share the responsibility of authentication. Scientific and technology-driven attribution methods 
also become increasingly popular. X-rays and ultraviolet and infrared imaging, for example, are used to add to the biography of the work by showing under drawings, grid work, types of paper used and changes to composition. The results of these scans often show preparatory drawings or compositional elements that are typical for the artist in question, which help to confirm the work's provenance. Microscopes and chemical paint analysis, on the other hand, are used to examine the molecular composition of the materials which shows which region and period they come from or they came from actually and if they are similar to the materials used by the artist for other already authenticated paintings Experts also test samples of pigment, binding material, canvas, wood, paper and other materials to determine if they are appropriate for the time period and location. For example, sometimes artists broke up a wood panel into two to paint two artworks and when the second artwork is found, and needs to be validated, the exact match of the two wood samples helps to confirm the work's authorship. Moreover, scientific analysis helps to distinguish an original from a copy by determining the age of each work. The question of authentication is so crucial that big players in the art market are now establishing their own high-tech labs. Sotheby's, for example, became the first auction house to have its very own conservation science lab in 2016. The authenticity disputes affect the estimated value of the artworks in question as well as the reputations of the museums and galleries that own the paintings. It's a fascinating subject to explore and I challenge you to find three well-known yet disputed paintings and tell me what you think. Are they real or are they fake? Thank you for listening. Stay safe.